Hello everyone, Akshay here. Today we will do the task 3. This is an interesting program and this you will face in your professional life. So let's go ahead. Uh, let me tell you what the program is all about. So we have a push button X and we have a light. When my push button is pressed, uh, my light should blink. It should go on and off. And it's like designing an alarming system. So and you can see this way like when my push button is pressed uh, it will be generating a pulse uh, wherein it's staying on for a certain time that is two seconds and off for a certain time two seconds and on and off and on and off uh, for the time duration uh, till I'm keeping the button press okay if I'm getting the keeping this press for a while it should go and immediately when I lift the finger this thing should not work that's it the program is all about like if I'm pressing, uh, my light should blink and if I'm not pressing, nothing should happen. So this is my program. This is an interesting program. I will request you to try it yourself because we have came to this stage where we have learned a lot many of things. We have already learned how to use the timers and there is a hint for you. You'll be requiring two timers. So try it yourself. If you're not getting it, then we'll be discussing the program in a while now. So assume you haven't get got it so you have proceed with the videos so let's go ahead and discuss the program i have already wrote the program because i don't want to waste the time writing the program and everybody of you know how to write the program now by this stage and so without wasting any time we'll be discussing the underlying logic which is quite important so let's discuss the logic so here my program is already running. Let me stop it. Okay. Set it value to zero. So here's my program. So as you can see, I have a push button X and the light. Uh, and I'm using a two timers. So these things are clear. Uh, let's go forward and discuss these things like contacts and coils. Um, and I assume by this time you have got to know uh, that if we are using the similar name that means they are linked this this and this are linked that does means when this coil is energized my this contacts are energized and if it is a normally closed contact it will become open and if it is normally open contact it will become closed so without getting confused let's discuss and one more thing I have increased the time duration to 4 seconds and I'm, I'm doing nothing but increase the on and off time of the blinker. So let's go ahead and test the program and uh, I will suggest you to observe the things going red and green so you can know the working. So as you can see my light has is going on and off and on and off. So my program is running. So let 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 us discuss when we have a current coming and when we press the button, what will happen? The current will go th simultaneously through this branch and this branch. And when it is going through this branch, it will light up the light pass. Uh, as it will pass through this contact, as it is a normally closed contact, so it will light up the light and when it goes through this branch also it will pass this contact and it will uh, activate this timer and this timer indeed will produce the output uh, that will that that does means it will energize this coil after two seconds okay though it says four seconds it's just to show you because everything's quite happens quite fast i can't discuss the things so um, observe this when this contact is energized what will happen is that uh, this contact which is normally close contact will become open and my light will switch off so indeed when this timer is recording the on time so it is switching off the light now of uh, so and at the same time 
uh, when this coil is energized it will energize this contact and this contact is normally open contact it will become close and start conducting the current and activate this timer and this timer indeed after two seconds will produce a output and energize this coil and when this coil is energized this indeed will reset this timer and everything else so let's see the working once again so my light is glowing my this timer is activated it will energize this coil because of this coil this contact is energized and then this and then this timer gets energized everything qu happens quite fast so you have to observe the line turning green and red so you can you can know the logic behind it and at least if you have tried it then you will get the logic quite early so doesn't matter do spend time because this is important to understand the logic it will help you in your future so and I would request you to do subscribe so you will be having the update as soon as I upload a few of the more programs so you get acquainted with things quite early. And this is just a 20% of the knowledge which I am sharing which will serve you to do 80% of the work in your professional life. So have fun learning. Uh, it's a bit effortful but I request you do invest your time in understanding this. It's uh, it will serve you in future. It will get you with new skills. So have fun learning. Don't get bored, and stay tuned. Thanks for listening.